From campuses to Capitol Hill, anti-Semitism is a big old thorn in the side of lawmakers looking to keep their jobs, especially for the far-left progressives. APAC, the pro-Israel lobbying group, is said to have $100 million in the piggy bank. That's devoted to getting them out of office. But they're not the only ones spending big to sway voters. Enter George Soros. The political sugar daddy's nonprofit just made the second largest donation to a liberal super PAC this election cycle to the tune of $60 million. Fun fact, at least $1 million goes to a group called One for All Committee, courting moderate white women to vote Democrat. Here now, a man who needs no introduction. He's just Jesse, well, Waters, host of The Five and Jesse Waters' prime time. New York Times best-selling author. How many times over? Two times? Number one best Number one. seller. Sorry. Sorry to correct to, you. No, sorry to cut you short. I, just, I like to be accurate. Short, short shift. That's Not right. fair. This George Soros money is going to court white suburban women voters for the Democrats, which makes no sense, which is setting money on fire, because these women, if they're so hung up on abortion, are going to vote for the Democrats anyway. Just let him do it. Do women need to be convinced to vote for Joe Biden? I don't think white women, and I know white women better than white women know themselves, Tegan. <laughs> <laughs> and and, and I, I believe that the suburban white female vote will be going to the Republicans this year. And I am speaking on behalf of all white suburban women um, for no reason whatsoever, with no intimate knowledge of what white suburban women want, except that I see white suburban women in the wild constantly. At the grocery store, especially when you're doing, when chore, when you're doing when like errands, right? I do do grocery shopping, and I've seen the sticker shock on the white suburban female faces, and the shock is bigger than what I saw during the Trump era, and <laughs> it's. I don't know if George Soros is going to be able to pull it off. But talking about George Soros giving money, again, I, I, I was a politician. I love campaign money. And campaign money goes a long way to drive issues. But if you have these left-wing squad members that are anti-Israel, George Soros can spend all the money he wants, and that's not going to change the fact they're anti-Semitic and they're anti-Israel. I don't know if white suburban women are looking at the Israeli-Palestinian war as closely as they're looking at prices <laughs> or as they're feeling some insecurity about their, their streets or, or their border, that seems to be the real issue. But abortion, I didn't see it coming in the midterms. Did you see it coming? I, I was a big red waiver. I was I like, not. red wave, red wave, 54 Senate seats. And then the abortion issue just hit me in the face. It's just not, it's so subtle and Suburban white women in, in their 30s or in their 20s want to have abortion as the option. Maybe they want their teenage daughter to have that option as well. It's just not something they express. And that's why... Do they want their teenage daughter to have the option to shower with a young boy in the high school bathroom? Also an important <laughs> issue in this election. You know white suburban I women better than it looks. I have seen them in the wild myself. <laughs> we don't we live, them. We live very close we to do. each other. Is That's how I'm on the show right now. He saw me in the wild, <laughs> right. and he said, will you do the show? I twisted his arm. Yeah, because I don't know you. No, I, we I, never I, see each other. Like I, You actually have seen me, but you just didn't recognize me. David when, and I, I was... walk next to each other every time I track my cold open, and she yeah, says, and I yell at you from my, no, I yell at you from <laughs> I my Jesse, office. congratulations on your book. I, I say it's a number one bestseller, <laughs> Dagan. <laughs> I do want to move on to this. Despite the glaringly obvious evidence presented, House Democrats uh, are still pretending old Joe's hands are clean from corruption when it comes to his family's business dealings. Listen to this. No, the, this is a uh, hearing on China, and you all have uh, an obsession with Russia and Trump, it, it's disturbing. We can talk you about China therapy. and Trump or Russia you all and Trump. Need, He's got need a therapy, Mr. Raskin. No, no, you, you need therapy. You're the one who's involved with the deranged politician, not me, okay? Barbara, You're in I have land. I Your impeachment land. investigation I must identify a high Biden's crime do? and misdemeanor. What did they I, do? I'll tell you what Joe Biden dollars. did. He was a senator of the United States. Then he wrote a book and he said he made the most yeah. money he ever made in his life, millions of dollars on his book.
It didn't sell as well as yours. No. Um, Hannity and Combs or Raskin and Comer? <laughs> <laughs> what I've learned is that politicians want to be cable news hosts and cable news hosts want to be politicians. And if we switched roles just for a year, I think we'd all be better off. Or we'd all want to go back. Or we'd all want to go back. I think we'd like to moonlight, but no one can understand what they're doing. And I always thought we were going to have the impeachment hearing now as a counter program to the trials that they're doing for Trump. And then they never really got it together. And that's not a book plug. That's my honest opinion. They never got the impeachment deal together. And so now all you see is Trump on trial. And that was a big mistake by the Republicans. But it's interesting. You just mentioned Get It Together, which is the name of your new book, Jesse, yes. which is uh, out right now, Troubling Tales from the Liberal Fringe. Uh, it's out now, number one bestseller. You talked about going into the natural habitat of, of white women voters. You've also gone into the habitat of radical, nutty liberals and actually talked to them, listened to them, and that's what this book is about. I listened for the first time in my career. And instead of talking over somebody or thinking what I was going to say next while someone else was speaking, <laughs> I listened. And I didn't judge. I judged silently. So we did about a three-hour conversation with about two dozen of the most fringe people you could find, ecosexuals, people that want to open the prisons, uh, open the borders, legalize drugs and everything. And I found out that they're irrational. And they just have problems from childhood that they are projecting on the rest of society. And they say, I don't have problems. Society is the problem. And society needs to change to accommodate my issues. And what I always say, and my mother always told me, I dedicated it to my mom. Hi, mom. You're not watching, but hello. What? They you don't need know she's not. to whoa, whoa, get it whoa, whoa. My mom watching. doesn't watch Fox News. You think she's not watching <laughs> Fox News? Yes. 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 <laughs> Did you leave anybody out of this book? We so interviewed a pimp. And the pimp didn't make a cut. My editor said, no pimp. No pimp. And I didn't push back. Is, it was too far. It was there, a little it, too there much. Is a, there's a, there, there is something that's too far, even for you, even, Jesse Waters. Even for me, Dagan, or as you call me, just Jesse. Just Jesse. Was there a, a, like a secret chapter at the very end where I think this is probably driving sales where you talk about how you use a, a blow dryer or hair product to get the well coiffed hair? Is there no, but I'm glad secrets? you asked me that question because the next book will be a self-help book. And in, instead of interviewing people on the fringe, we will be interviewing successful people. Not you, but successful people <laughs> like Tom Brady. And we'll be finding out what makes them so successful, whether it's a hair dryer or work ethic. I was also a member of Congress, Jesse. Come on. You are. You were the and politician that wanted to be a cable oh, news really? host. I, uh, oh, really? Oh, really? He had no idea that you I'm were a member of Congress. And people still want him to be in office. I talked to a guy the other day. He wants you to run for governor of, of Wisconsin. And I think that, was it you who wanted him to leave and be governor? <laughs> <laughs> Not taken. We're Someone done else. with you. Wait. Jesse Water. All right. Well, I got another show to do, so yeah, thank you. you. Uh, Oh, yeah. oh, oh, that's right. Yes. Oh, what time is that show on? I'm I, sorry. I, I, th I hope it's still <laughs> at 8. <laughs> Great to see you, Jesse. Congratulations on the book. Thank you, guys, very Appreciate much. It. Yeah, awesome job in the book. All right.